And Matthew McDowell, the senior linebacker, made the play. Now you're looking at around a 32-yard field goal, but you have another play to run with 17.8 to go. And Dave, you've been waiting for this moment if Cardenas could attempt a game winner. Yeah, I'm telling you, he's got a great leg. It makes me laugh and smile because he's such a great kid. He's a good person. He tries hard in school, and he's good in class. He's over there warming up right now for the kick, and I just love to see him have that opportunity to be the hero in this game. Well, the B-Diggers have got to be prepared here. If they don't get a first down, let that clock run down to almost nothing and then call the timeout. That's assuming that you run the football. And do you put it in the hands of your best athlete or one of your best athletes, the quarterback Eric Garcia, who obviously had a minus six on his last bootleg, but we know how dangerous he can be in the open field. 19 seconds to go in the game. Rush 7, Florence 7, the beat diggers have the football, just shy of the Florence 15-yard line. They've got one timeout remaining. It's third down and four. Kukas is the receiver to the left, Hanson to the right. Weiser and Morrow are in the backfield. Garcia on third down, looking to throw. Lost it up the left sideline towards the end zone. That pass is going to be, is it intercepted or is it broken up? It is out of bounds. And I think Shea Hansen or C.J. Kukas almost pulled it in. He wanted the touchdown. And the defender in on the play was almost in a position to pick it off in a better position than Kukas. And I think Kukas actually almost broke up the play to the point that even though he thought he had one foot in, that he might have made the catch, but the officials on the far left corner of the end zone have called it out of bounds. You know, I thought he, I thought he, intercept, I thought he had the touchdown. I, thought he, I really did. I thought he came down with the football. I know the fourth defender also had his hands on the ball, but I think they went out of bounds. I'm not sure the official was in position, and I think he just safely said out of bounds before he had to make a call on that one. Oh, 11.5 seconds to go. Well, when the ball was given back to the official, it was in Kukas' hands, but it looked like it might have actually been in the defender's hands first, and Kukas, with his momentum, obviously was able to come away with the football. He's bigger and stronger than the much more diminutive defender. So this will be it. Jesus Cardenas will come in with 11.5 seconds to go. There will still be another play in this game, even if he misses in regulation to attempt the field goal. The beat diggers have used their final timeouts, and Randy Dreitz is still out there trying to plead his case. And I think the official felt that neither Kukas, well, that Kukas didn't have possession as he was coming down with the football inbounds, inbounds, that he was rolled out of bounds. And that's a legitimate call. Obviously very tough to tell from here. All right, here is Cardenas off the hold of Eric Garcia. It'll be a 31-yard attempt officially for the freshman kicker. This for a possible spot in the quarterfinals. Awaiting the snap. There it is. It's down. The kick is up. And the kick by Cardenas is gone! It's gone by the Swiss Cardenas from 31 yards away! And the beat diggers have taken the 10 to 7 lead with 6.6 seconds to go in the game. Holy mahungus. You know, the kick had, it had about five more yards on it, but it was high. And you could see once it got uh, close to the crossbar, it just, it stopped. The wind stopped it, the ball dropped straight down, but it was right in between the uprights. It was a great snap by, there by Lynch, great blocking there by that line, a really good hold there by Garcia, and then just a phenomenal kick by the freshman. Dave, there's a tingling up my spine right now, and I'm sure you can feel it in your own body, not from my spine, but holy <laughs> mahungus. Well, I'm just so happy for you. Know, you just love to see um, great people have the chance to, to be the hero. Yeah, and there was no way that could have been blocked. He had lots of trajectory on that kick. The distance was there. I mean, it wouldn't have gone from 41 yards, but definitely from 31. However, you've got to make another play. 6.6 .6 seconds to go in the game. Now, do they kick it deep? Do they kick it to King here, or do they just squib it over there to one of those other um, guys there that are standing out there on the 30 and probably not their return men? Well, their return men are standing at around the 15. Vector to kick it off, and that's a low-line drive. It's going to bounce all the way through the return men. It's going to be picked up by King at around the 6-yard line, and he runs straight ahead, and he's going to be down at around the 11, and with 1.8 seconds to go... 
Barnes is going to have one more snap, and the reason that the clock didn't start, start immediately is because the ball wasn't touched. It went through everybody and didn't deflect off of anybody. If not, the game would have ended right there. So they'll have it at the 12. And at this point, you've got to watch the hook and ladder. You know, that's, that's one play that can certainly kill you. The bait diggers have Hansen standing at his own 40, actually at the Florence 40, and Rutherford back there. This play could go 87 yards, but if it goes 88, that's well, the beat diggers obviously are in trouble. 1.8 seconds to go in a shotgun. Two receivers out to the left and right for Heath Benker, awaiting the snap. And he rolls to his left, looking to throw. Time has expired. He takes off with the football, across the 15 to the 20, back to the outside, across the 30-yard line, still on his feet, and he's going to be tackled at the 35-yard line. Randy Greitz raises his arms, and the beat diggers have pulled off the victory, and they are celebrating in unison along the beat diggers' sideline, defeating Florence 10-7 to in the opening round of the 2A playoffs. We'll take a break and come back with a recap of this game on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. <laughs> 